What's going on Lace fam? It's Chase and today we got some breaking news from Trophy Room about the drop information for February 10th. So I wanted to get right into this video and talk about how this drop is going to happen. I'm going to talk about resale predictions. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. And I'm also going to be previewing all of the special details about this sneaker. And as usual, if you are new to this channel, please destroy that like button as it really does help me out and consider subscribing to the channel. I drop new videos every Thursday talking about sneaker reviews and resale predictions. So thank you for all your support. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so getting right into the drop. So Trophy Room did announce today that it is officially going to be releasing on February 10th, 2021, which is this coming Wednesday for a price of $190. And it will be an online raffle. That is the craziest part. They actually told us exactly how they're going to be doing this drop. It is going to be happening from 7 a.m. Pacific time to 8.30 a.m. Pacific time or 10 a.m. Eastern time to 11.30 Eastern time. So you are going to have an hour and 30 minutes to enter this drop. They also said that they will be notifying winners by 2.23 Pacific time or 5.23 Eastern time. It's kind of interesting because they are playing on the number 23 for that time. So, you know, it's kind of cheesy, but whatever, you know. This drop is going to be happening exclusively on trophyroomstore.com. I will be putting a link below. So make sure that you bookmark that link and set your reminders on your phone. I set a calendar event on my iPhone and I make sure that I get multiple alerts for that drop so that I know ahead of time. And I would suggest you do that too. That is everything we know so far. So we are not exactly sure how they are gonna do the drop on the website. But if I had to assume, they're gonna do something similar to Stussy where they're gonna either password the site, shock drop some kind of banner that takes you to a different site or takes you to the actual product page itself. Now, the other crazy point about this drop is that we have been seeing a number of Instagram resellers posting hundreds of pairs, if not thousands of pairs that have allegedly already been backdoored. There are only a total numbered pair of 12,000 in stock. So if you take into account and assume the worst that there are a couple of thousand pairs that have already been backdoored, the total allotted stock left for this online raffle is only going to be maybe somewhere between eight to nine thousand pairs and that's being conservative so this drop is definitely going to be hard i'm definitely not gonna lie to you i'm already expecting to take an l but i am still gonna try let me know in the comments below if you are gonna actually try too and what do you think your chances are gonna be because i really don't think the chances are going to be that great and as a reminder i will be talking about resale predictions at the end so please make sure you stick around so next up i do want to talk a little bit about the history and the inspiration for this sneaker design trophy room is a store in orlando that was started by marcus jordan who is michael jordan's son so the jordan one trophy room is nicknamed freeze out to commemorate Michael Jordan's rookie all-star game in the NBA when he was playing with Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas essentially got freezed out where he really didn't score much points I think it was something like seven points in the next game he basically got possessed and rebuttaled this with a 49 point game and he said that whether this was a rumor or not that they did this to him on purpose he didn't really care he was just happy to be a part of that all-star game be like hey guess what guys I'm here either way I deserve to be here and I'm gonna have everything coming to me it was definitely a big moment for him so i love how this sneaker is commemorating that event so anyways that's the history now let's get right into the colorway of this sneaker so as you already know this is kind of like a spiritual successor to the jordan one chicago so you are gonna see this sneaker sporting that same red black and white colorway with some big changes and the most noticeable one being the red paneling there have been silver metallic flakes either blended into the paint or set as another layer on top where when the light shines on it it gives a super high contrast to the sneaker where certain sections are going to be super brightly lit where the other sections are going to be almost like satin and it's like a lot darker than the rest of the shoe the next thing that is really going to pop is that on the original chicago one all of the stitching on the panels are color matched to the color of the panel so if it's a red panel there's red stitching however throughout this whole freeze out jordan one you are going to see white stitching all over every single panel no matter where you look and that is definitely going to really make each and every panel stick out for itself so now moving on to the white paneling for the toe box 
the quarter panel and everything else, you are gonna pretty much see the same white. Apart from the upper section of the outsole, they have artificially aged this sail. I think that really is another homage to the original Shiho 1. Now finally, the other big change to the colors is gonna definitely be the bottoms of the outsole. You are gonna see this icy blue translucent outsole first introduced on the Spider-Man origin story. This is definitely a really cool touch. Now the last thing about the colors is the lacing. So it is going to come with red, white, black, and I I believe it also comes with one set of almost like storm blue lacing is exclusive to the sneaker and it will have white motifs of the trophy room store logo as well as rumor has it now in terms of materials now in terms of materials i think the sneaker remains true to most of the jordan ones with an extremely pebbled leather that looks extremely soft and then you are going to see your usual woven nylon tongue along with another woven nylon sock liner i absolutely love the original Chicago one for its clean lines and its clean color blocking but this sneaker definitely flips it on its head with a much more chaotic look it is ultra high contrast extremely loud with all the silver metallic flakes all over the sneaker with that icy sole it really does give it that trophy look you think of a trophy you think of high contrast shiny in your face is blinged out right it's blinged out and this concept of a trophy is further reinforced with the three-quarter panel on the heel counter with michael jordan's signature now some other smaller details that i really appreciate are gonna definitely be the circular stitched insole patches that show the trophy room logo on the underside of the translucent sole you are going to see those red and blue stars to call out that all-star game and then also another nod to the all-star game is going to be inside of the tunnel tag you are going to see that february 10th 1985 date and then again back to that sock liner you are going to see that it says rumor has it with the three ellipses further building on the concept of you know did this freeze out happen or didn't it happen and you'll see that as i said earlier on the laces themselves now the last couple differences between these and uh any other jordan one is that instead of coming in a red and black air jordan box it comes in a monochromatic blue box with stars all over it with white logos that's a very nice fitting box design for the actual sneaker itself and along with that cool box you get this ticket stub that calls out the february 10th 1985 game and it almost makes it seem like it's a whole experience that you know when you get the shoe it's almost like you're reliving that day when you got to go see michael jordan or something like that and you know for some people that end up getting the shoe i'm sure you know they were probably there and that's super cool to think about so i think that's something i really appreciate about the overall design of of this sneaker as a whole package they really thought this through and it's not only a sneaker that you wear to experience but you can also kind of experience and relive the moment when you start thinking about all these kind of memories really appreciate the attention to details here and i think that overall super solid concept and they really played it well we of course now get to the resale predictions so if you look on StockX or any other aftermarket site right now, you will see that they are going between 2000 and 2500 for any size. I really can't see the price of this sneaker dropping based off of all these details and findings that I have researching this sneaker. It has too much calls on the history of this sneaker and Michael Jordan himself. It has kind of that lineage because this is a collab between Jordan Brand and his son's store. So that alone will definitely make this kind of like NBA memorabilia. That's going to definitely drive the price up in the future. And then this is also in addition to the fact that they're probably at this point at least a couple thousand pairs that have already been backdoor so you're looking at eight to nine thousand pairs of stock and that is not much so if you look in recent because of things like the last dance coming out and kind of reigniting and introducing a lot of people that weren't even into sneakers before there are a lot of forces here that have driven the prices of sneakers up and really caused a lot more demand because we are seeing a lot of sneaker heads emerging that have never cared about sneakers before so now there's all this demand for sneakers that there just isn't enough supply to go around for so because of all these kind of reasons big reasons i might add i think that this sneaker is only going to go up in price and i think in a few years 
just like how the fragments or some of the other more limited Jordan ones, you will probably see these, I would say at least $4,000 in the future. I think it could easily double in value. So anyways, let me know in the comments below if you agree with my resale prediction. What are your favorite details about this sneaker? And are you going to be sitting in on this drop? And as I said, I will be leaving a link below to the actual website where the drop is gonna be happening. So make sure that you set your alarms and get ready for this drop because it is gonna be terrible. <laughs> it is gonna be really bad. If you guys enjoy this content, please, please, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you get the latest notifications when I drop new videos every Thursday. I am trying to bring the most value to you guys. I wanna make sure I keep you guys looped in about the most important drops of the year. So make sure you check in often. And as always, make sure you support your local businesses. I'm Jace and peace out.